Kia ora guys and welcome back to online story time. So I found a couple things just around the garage quickly. We've also got our three primary colours here on our magnets. I know I don't have my shapes, I left them at preschool so I'll go collect them as soon as possible and then we'll get back into our shapes and I want to print off some more for you guys so we can go over a range of shapes as well. Um, but for now, um, I'll show you the things I found um, and maybe you guys can find some things uh, that are the same colour. So I found a Ko-Fi uh, pineapple cup, which is pretty cool, Kmart, two bucks, <laughs> was good for some dress apps. So that's Ko-Fi. I found a Ferro uh, school bag that my brother used to use. I found this Kakariki and um, Pango uh, speaker uh, that my brother also used to use but now doesn't. And I have uh, this Ma ping pong ball. It's Ma. And I've also got this um, Tiki uh, Ma Fido candle. Um, came up. 10 bucks. It's great. <laughs> Gotta love Kmart. But no. So I found a range of colours and then this, it's like light blue but kikorangi uh, little vase that's from Thailand um, that my friend brought me. So that's there also. There's also, I don't know if you can see this plant behind me which is kakariki also. I'm sitting on a like turquoise uh, kikorangi um, pillow. Um, a grey chair which was hina you guys remember but the fero kofi kiko rangi the little top of this pineapple is also kakariki nice so hopefully you guys have remembered all your colors and have, oh i'm also wearing like a karaka top kind of thing so it's kind of like orangey rusty color but yeah, I hope you guys have been brushing up on your Māori colours and have been finding things around the house to go with Fero or Kofi or Kakariki or even Ma Fero, um, Pango, lots of different colours, hey, as we've found out. But the reason we're all here for is our stories. So today I've got what the ladybird heard. This one's by Julia Donaldson, which is the lady that does um, the lovely Gruffalo books. You all love those. And illustrated by Lydia Monks. Monks, Monks. Right. What the ladybird heard. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. Quite the collection the farmer has, doesn't he? And the cow said, what do cows say guys? Moo! And the hen said, cluck, 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 or buck, 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 hiss! said the goose, and quack, said the duck, nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. One cat meowed, and the other one purred. What does a cat sound like, guys? Meow, meow. Purr. Can you guys do that? Oh, I'm sure you can. And the ladybug never said a word. So what do you guys think a ladybird sounds like? Hmm. What do you think it's going to do? So when you see someone, I don't know, doing something bad, what do you do? Do you tell them? Or do you tell an adult? It's probably best to, eh? Because otherwise, then they're going to do it anyways. So, their cunning plan was open the gate at the dead of night past the horse and then turn right round the duck pond past the hog be careful not to wake the dog left past the sheep then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed 
So they pretty much go in a big circle to the uh, shed. Crazy, huh? And there's the little ladybird up in the corner watching and knowing all of their plans. So the little spotty ladybird, who had never said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Do you think they'll listen to it? We hope so, eh? And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck, 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 hiss, said the goose, and quack, went the duck. Nay, said the horse, and oink, went the hog. Ba went the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the, f the fine prize cow. Mmm, she's right. And the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into each animal's ear. What do you think her plan was, do you think? What was she going to get up to? Oof. Smart ladybird. <clears throat> so at the dead of the night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Lynn, opened the gate until the farmer slept, while the farmer slept, and tiptoed into the farm they crept. Then Goose said, nay, with all her might, and Len said, that's the horse, turn right. Hmm, where are they going to lead it? And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck, said Hugh, we're on the right track. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba ba said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. Wow. Where are they going to end up, guys? Down here. They're going to end up in the pond. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. And they both <clears throat> stepped into the duck pond. <gasps> Splash! And the farmer woke, and golly gosh! And he called the cops, and they came. Nee-ha! And they threw the th thieves in their panda. Ah, mmm, what clever, oops, sorry guys, what clever animals. <clears throat> then the cow said moo, and the duck said cluck, 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 hiss, said the goose, and quack, went the duck. Nay, said the horse, and oink, went the dog, a uh, hog. Ba went the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered, and both cats purred. But the ladybird never said a word. And they all carried on happily ever after. Mm -hmm. What a cool story. The end. So that was the end of what the ladybird heard. I shall. Okay, see if you guys can find some things around the house or when you go for a walk. Um, or in the garden that go with all the colours. I'd love to see what you guys um, come up with. Um, and even if you can do your own research and come up with more things um, or different colours that we haven't, you know, haven't heard of yet. Because there's so many. We haven't got purple and got yellow. What other colours don't we have? We got, haven't got quite a few. But see if you guys can get any other colours. I'll um, be looking forward to seeing them. Anyways, guys, I shall see you.